Welcome back to the Stay Woke Podcast, man. I'm super excited today. I got one of my best bros in here with me. Uh, we've been trying to get this shit going for a long time, and we finally got it together. So I hope you guys enjoy this and get caught up on who who's here with me, man. Got my boy Cove with me. How you doing, broski? I'm doing good, bro. I, I appreciate you having me on for real. It's a blessing. Oh, no, man. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you. What's new with you, man? With back at school, season's about to start. What's going on? Yeah, bro. Just, uh, I think, I, so I've been here for about a month. Um, we uh, started practice, I think, like three weeks ago. So just been doing that and then just been doing school online. Um, not much is going on. Just have to like really be careful with COVID and everything going on. So just really been grinding um, and just focusing on school. So I mean, it's been cool. um, are you? Do you have like any in class classes yet, or is everything just uh, on the online right now? Yeah, everything's remote. So no, uh, no in person classes or anything. So they're still trying to decide on what they're going to do for next semester, though. OK, OK. How's school? You Is it different? You like being online or? I don't know. Honestly, uh, it is cool. Um, but at times, it, the teachers be doing the most. Right. I feel honest, like. like that's one thing I've noticed is like they, they got way more strict ever since we uh, been online, like making sure you got to do like check-ins and stuff. Yeah, bro, making sure your uh, your camera's on the whole time. You you got to oh, make sure you're participating. I mean, that's a given for school in general, but they're like that's really true. harping on it uh, lately. Right. Okay. And what's up with Hoop, man? I'm excited, bro. I'm so excited for you. It's about to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's a. Uh, I'm excited, honestly. Uh, my last year, there's just. I mean, so much that I want to do this last year um, in terms of like goals wise. So I'm excited. I think uh, we have a good team coming back and um, just ready to get things going. Nice. Um, what's practice like? Are you guys going hard two a days? What do you what's what's that like? Uh, it's just it's been uh, regular practice. So uh, we're going about two hours, 15 minutes uh, every day, two hours, 30 minutes every day, uh, really getting after it. Um, Cause I think like three weeks ago, we were able, just able to get into the gym. So um, before that we were practicing outside and doing stuff like that. Oh damn, that's crazy. Crazy. So yeah, it's been a, like really big to just get back in the gym and uh, do workouts and things like that. Um, what do you, uh, what do you do like besides practice? Are you like, can you go and like put shots up on the gun or you guys just practice and y'all got to get out? Yeah, it, that's what it, it kind of is. Like you, uh, you got practice, you can get shots up afterwards, but it's not like you can stay in there for like an hour. Yeah. It's like you get shots up, you can stay in there for about 30 minutes, but then you got to go, you can't just go into the gym anytime you want. So they got, um, like outside courts uh, set up with hoops nice. and things like that. So uh, me and a teammate, we've been just going out there every morning, uh, getting our work in. What time do you go to get up to go do that? Uh, we've been going at 7.30 every morning. Okay. When do you start school? Um, this semester, I, I haven't, like, I usually have class at 10 a.m. Um, so I have, like, class, like, Monday – Monday, Thursday at uh, 10 a.m. And then um, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's usually at nighttime. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, so let's get straight into this, man. Um, growing up, I know you, we played, we started playing football together. And uh, then I moved, you guys were, you and Jay were still playing basketball. I always thought, bro, you would be a football star. Like, I always thought you'd be a football star, bro. Like, always. So, um, talk about what 
your football and basketball, like growing up, like, did you like hoop more or football more? Like, what was that like? Um, yeah, growing up, you know, playing with you, uh, you know, things like that. It was, it was fun. Um, I love football. I still love football to this day. I love watching it. Um, it's just like something I'm passionate about, but I just felt like at an early age, I kind of understood the game of basketball better. Yeah. Like definitely. I thought I was good at football, but I thought like I just understood the game of basketball so much better and it just came easier for me. Right. So I think that's why I ended up, uh, um, you know, gravitating high school, more. Like, right. Yeah, mm -hmm, exactly. Like choosing that. So, but sometimes I'd be thinking like, dang, like I wonder how, how it would be if I played college football right now. Yeah, like <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Um, when did you like, start feeling that way like oh I'm really more smart on the basketball I have a better IQ on the basketball court than I do on the football field like um, was that like middle school or in high school freshman year I think it was honestly it was high school uh like freshman year um yeah because like once I uh like I played varsity freshman year so once that happened like things just started to click way more for me. Um, yeah. Started, you know, playing versus guys who were older, you know, right. or things like that. So I had to think the game uh, way more at that um, that time. So I think that's when I like really understood, like, yeah, basketball is what's going to do it for me. Definitely, hell yeah. Um, did you uh, did you ever think like when you were in like middle school like you would be in this situation like right now that you were in I mean I always had dreams um of doing of doing this like that was it's always been my goal to play division one basketball to have a good career but the things I've done I I didn't I didn't think I was gonna it would, it would turn out like this if I'm being honest like I always just had the goal of you know, working hard and Definitely. see how far it's going to take me, but see where it actually has taken me. Um, I, I just never would have thought it would happen like this. How was um, high school for you? Because I know freshman year, you had a little buzz. Sophomore year, buzz was booming like crazy. I was like, God, Lee, what is he not doing right now? Like, <laughs> you gaming people – Game winners, giving people 30, best defenders, oh, 30, 10, come here. And you got your bro next to you doing that. How what was that like playing with E? That, bro, that was that was probably one of the best years uh, in high school just because I got to, like, you know, play with my brother. Um, it's just it – was, it was a blessing just because um, – he knows me as a player so well, and I know him as a player. So just like uh, we just thought the game through um, during different situations, and I think that really helped my success. And that's he's someone I really look up to. Someone like he he's a great leader and someone I hope to be like. So getting to play with him, um, it was great. Um, so. Uh, I'm just – I'm happy that I did get to go through that whole experience because right. I think that he gave me the confidence to to Take shoot those shots because he was, you know, more – he was, like, find me and now mm -hmm. I'm shooting the ball more. So, I think that's what, I guess, like, really boosted my confidence to another level. Because I feel like you – playing with E, you're – like you said, he's giving getting you the ball. So, you're the shooting guard. Like, hey, yeah. I'm going to just run down court. I know my brother's coming. Like, he's about to find me. So, then you had a junior year. Your brother's gone. And you're the man. Mm -hmm. You got – um. let's talk about your uh, AAU. That was when you started playing 17s, right? Yep, that was when I started with playing. With chaos, football. right? Mm -hmm. um, what made you leave? Because you played with Billups Elite. What made you leave Billups to go uh, go over with Dave and Chaos? Um, honestly, it came down to I just wasn't getting the opportunity that I thought I should be getting. Um, 
uh, I, I liked playing on that team. I liked the players, the coaches, and you know, I feel like they really developed my game. But at the end of the day, um, I didn't think I would uh, ever – if I played with them, I wouldn't get to where I'm at now. I feel like I had to, like, grant, you know, branch away from those guys and kind of do my own thing to, like, really get confidence and to really show how good I was. Because being on that team, I was just going to be um, another role player. Right. And so um, I think that was, like, one of the best decisions I've, I've ever made is to go to chaos and – play for Dave because he just, you know, kind of just gave me the, the keys right away to Definitely. just be the guy. So, And you were the guy – you were, what, 15 playing with 17-year-olds, God yeah. knows, probably 18, 19, knowing <laughs> AAU, dudes are for crazy. Him. Dudes would be 22, oh, I'm 16. Come on, dog, get out of here. Bro, but you, you were the man on that team, though. Like, I'm just saying, like, you were the youngest guy, but you were the man. Like you said, Dave gave you those keys. Because I, I remember us when I just went to Chaos. I was I went, I was 16. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, um, so the fall, that was, that was cool. I loved Chaos. Did you like Chaos, though? Like, did you, like, enjoy besides, like, hooping and shit? Like, was it a good experience, like? Were you comfortable there? Like, did you feel like you can be yourself? Like, how was – what did chaos do for you? Um, it was – it was great, honestly. Um, it was different when you get to – when you play with Phillips and those are the guys you grow up with. And yeah. I've been playing with those guys since I'm in, like, fourth, fifth grade. So, I, I know those guys – Um. You know, I've just been around them so much to go into playing with chaos. And now you're playing with guys that grew up in Highlands Ranch or, right. um, you know, now they're, they go to school out there. And you don't, you're not really like seeing them like that. So it was definitely two experiences, but like, I'm, I'm happy that I got to experience what I did with chaos. Um, the coaches uh, is different from, the coaches from uh, Billups, so right. I, I really, um, I really enjoyed it. Um, the definitely, um, like you know, when we were on the same team, with those guys, uh, with those experiences, like you know, hanging out. We'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into okay, that. We'll get okay, into yeah, that. Yeah, we'll yeah, get like, into that. Um, like those things, yeah. Those those were um, definitely fun, and so uh, chaos was uh, really big for me. So AU ends junior year. Mm-hmm. Um, that's when your offers started rolling in, right? Yeah. Well, the start of go a- AU and then going into your junior year. Yeah, um, yeah. That's when it. Started. Did you have like any um, like a a school you wanted to go to? Like then, like you're buzzing, your your game calls, your phone's ringing. Did you have like a school like if they call me, I'm going like right away? Yeah, um, Gonzaga. That was that's that was my dream school. I was because that's when um, Josh Perkins was playing mm-hmm. there, and I used to just watch them and um, and I was like, "Yep, yeah, if they," because I used to get a couple letters from them. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't nothing crazy, but I got a couple letters, and I was like, "If I get the call or if they see me uh, at a game, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna commit right right away. Right. If they just give me that chance, but." Um, never happened uh that's all it was was the letters i never got um a phone call or anything so i mean it's whatever i guess so junior year you kill gatorade player of the year what was that like it was that was that was an experience for real because um that was the time when duran was like when Overland was like the powerhouse at the time. Um, they were winning state championships, and um, so that the winning that uh, that's when I knew. That's kind of when I knew I was like, yeah, I'm good enough to like really play with whoever. Like it doesn't yeah. matter. Like you know, like, yeah. yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. So that really that really helped me. Um, and just to get that award, like, you know, 
that that was just it was crazy. Hell yeah, man! I was so happy for you. It's crazy. Appreciate that. It's dope because like I was like a fan of you, bro. Like. Literally, like you were like my best bro, but I'm like, bro, my, my dude is about to kill this nigga. Watch, watch, <laughs> boom, give him 30. Like, yo, I used to just tell niggas, like, just watch, bro. You think, ah, uh, uh, it's good. Kobe, he got it, got it, bro. That, hey, always, that's, always true. Been. that's love. So, um, junior year, you get your, get your award. That brings us into 17s. We, play on the a team together for the first time since we were like fucking I don't know. It was like second grade when we stopped playing together. Yeah. For real. But we started when we were like four, bro. It was, it was ridiculous. We're playing tackle football four years old with your brother in Isaiah, <laughs> me, you and Jason. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. But um anyway, we get on the same team. Man, like we were said earlier, those times were wild, but our team like was so nice, bro. Like our we had just every little piece, I feel like. Bro, so, I think yeah, for real. I agree. I agree. So with with that being said, um my experience playing with you is freaking amazing. Like I loved it because I learned so much, you know, because when I first got on, I struggled our first uh, in the spring and then summer. It was like I was a whole nother player. Like, exactly. I was like a whole nother player. And like part of that was because of you, bro. I was like, yo, I got to match my guy's intensity. Like he's out here killing niggas. Imagine if I'm out here killing niggas with him. Like it's just going to be even crazier. For real, for real. So that's when their buzz was going crazy. Like all our games were pat. Everybody just came to watch you. And we that's when we were beating like the best teams. So talk about your experience, like your last year with Chaos and being on that team with those guys that you played against your whole life. You used to give them buckets. Now now they're on your team. What was that like? Uh, that was that was a great experience. Like you were talking about, just being on the team with you, um, just to have a familiar face, uh, right. just you know, because we're we're so close. So just being playing with you, that was um, that was great. Uh, I feel like we played well off of each other. Hell yeah. um, basically, if I could score. Um, you know, you're finding me, and if you're hot, I'm gonna find you. Type thing. Definitely. And I feel like we uh. Like you said, in the summer is like when I really felt like you, like really turned it up because you yeah. know the first two tournaments or at first like tournaments, the spring, it was bad. Oh, dude. I, I wasn't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing shit, boy. I was water. But yeah, and then um, yeah, you you turned it on, but um, I feel like with that team, it was just a family. Like we're hanging outside of. Yeah. Outside of practice, like, you know, really, like, hanging out with each other, like, um, you know, just doing stuff like that. And I feel like that's why uh, we were so close. And I feel like there were guys on that team, like Jake, um, Colin, Corey, mm -hmm. everyone just knew their role. Um, yes. Not saying we were the most talented team, but guys just knew their yeah. role. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's why we had success with that team. Yeah, bro, and we had you as a leader, bro. You're pushing us to freaking just be great, like you said. Like I said, we we really wanted to match you. We couldn't be out here shit, and we got the best player in the freaking country on our team. Like we just we couldn't. So I just feel like we had we all of us had we just felt like we had to match you, you know, and we did because we were so like we took second in every tournament. Like we we're playing teams with six D ones, like. Beating them by 10, like, we were just, bro, it was crazy. That was so fun. Like, that was amazing. Yeah, that was a great experience, bro. I agree. So, um, senior year, uh, I actually get to match up against you senior year twice. So, let's talk, before we talk about your senior year, let's talk about uh, your recruitment. What was, like, what was that like going into senior year? What were your top schools? Um, top schools, honestly, bro, it came down to Northern Colorado and Pepperdine. 
I mean, I had an offer from, from Pacific, but it wasn't really an offer. They had offered me, but another point guard had committed, so I couldn't commit if I wanted to. And then um, Arkansas State, kind of the same thing. They offered me, but didn't really want me. So it really came down to Pepperdine in Northern Colorado. And why, why Pep? Why, what made you choose Pepperdine? Did you go visit UNC? In yeah. Stanford? I'll, how was um, that like? What was UNC like before you talk about Pep? It was it was cool, bro. Um, as Coach Linder, um, he was a coach at, at the time, um, and he's like really close with uh, Coach O at Eagle Crest, my head coach at Eagle Crest. So he, they're really close. And um, going on that visit, it was unofficial because I was planning on taking my unofficial. Um, then going to Pepperdine and then going doing an official at UNC. So at first right. I took an official at UNC. That was cool. Uh, I like the campus. Um, uh, really, the, like those things. Honestly, like the campus and like where the location that I don't honestly don't ever care for that kind right. of stuff. I'm more about like what it like. What's the basketball aspect of it? Yeah, and, like, definitely. How will I get better that way? And so. Mm -hmm. On that visit, um, it was great. He's telling me, like, you're going to play 35-plus minutes a game. You're going to be the guy. You're going to start. And I'm thinking, like, wow, he's really telling me this, like, right. I'm going for it. And, he, um, and at that moment, I was really about to commit because I just felt wow. like, okay, this might be the place for me. Right, exactly. And, um, you know, for to really, like, go off and things like that. And then just having a talk with my mom, she said, just to wait and see what, you know, Pepperdine has to offer. And so, um, yeah, and I took the, the Pepperdine visit uh, a week later. What was that? Was that your first time, like, in that part of Cali? Yeah, bro. Um, that was my first time just, yeah, being in, like, L.A., Santa Monica, uh, Malibu. Um, that was that was crazy. It's just a it's a different vibe in Colorado. Right. Way different vibe, and I really liked it. Um, the views are great. The the restaurants are great. Um, it's just you know you see the there's a lot to do. Huh? Yeah, exactly, exactly. There's just there's so much to do, and um, going on that visit, I enjoyed it. Um, it was just it was different because. You know, you go from UNC and them telling you, like, you're going to play this much. You're going to be the guy. You know, you're just going to be our point guard. And at Everdine, I went on a visit with another player. And oh, okay. so they're, like, showing him love. I mean, I felt the love, but I didn't really feel it as much. Maybe You could tell, just, like, they messed with him, right? Yeah, you could tell, like, they were really trying to get him. And, he, you know, he was a good player. And things like that. But um, so after that visit, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I honestly don't know if, you know, how much they really want me or, you know, how much um, I can trust what they're saying just because they're not telling me you're the guy. They're not telling right. me you're gonna play this much. They just told me all the whole time. They told me you're going to get a chance to compete. And that's all. It's up to you to, to decide what you're going to do with that. And um. Mm. Yeah, so it was crazy, and then right after that visit, I'm talking with my mom, and I'm just like, ah, I don't know, I don't know how that, um, how I feel about that. But then she just, we're talking, and then she's like, for you to be a better player and just to grow as a person, you need to go to a place where you're uncomfortable, right? Where you're not giving everything because if I went to Northern Colorado, I'm just gonna be around the same people I've been around. Um, Your I'm whole life, better, yeah. but yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna be a. a it's guy. gonna be the same, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So then uh, we talked about it, and I knew, like, if I ever wanted to play in the NBA, I needed to be go against teams like Gonzaga, BYU, St. Mary's, things like that. So that's honestly one of the reasons why I uh, really came to Pepperdine. Mm, dang, that's I can't believe they told you that. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But um. So you commit senior year, you're killing, going crazy. Mm -hmm. 
What was what was your senior year like? After, um, after you wait, so you committed right before the season started, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so um, what was you already know? Like I'm going to school, so that's off weight. That weight's off your shoulders. So now it's I can hoop, and you were killing. What was that like your senior year? Exactly, exactly what you said. Uh, like there's no pressure. It's like I really can just focus on playing basketball. I'm not trying to impress a coach or I'm not trying to do too much so a coach can recruit me. It's like I'm just playing with my team. Uh, I get to play with my, you know, play under my coach. And um, that was something I, I really looked forward to doing. And um, it was good just because everyone was bought in to the to what we were trying to do. We all knew, like, it's state championship or bust. Like, honestly, we knew – how good of a team we were and we knew the goals we had. So everyone was just on board with that. And uh, at the end of the day, it was just, uh, it was a great season. Yeah, definitely. You guys were clicking. Like, especially them dudes fucking loved you, dog. Like, bro, they did everything. You could tell them niggas to run through a brick wall and they would do it. Like, it was so crazy. Like, I was just like, because – Y'all beat us by five at East mm-hmm. for the first time, and then we met up again in the playoffs. And you got in foul trouble, and you don't play the whole first half. And these niggas are balling. I'm like, yo, time out. <laughs> what is going on? Kobe's not in, and we're down 20. It's not even halftime. Like, what? So, them dudes loved you, man. Yeah, so, bro. The, the, you honestly, won that year. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, yeah, bro. Just to talk about those guys, um, I feel like that, those were some of like the best teammates I've had. Um, they were those guys were just super selfless. Um, it was never about them. Um, it was all about the team, and so I feel like that's why we were we were so good. Everyone just understood their role, and so um, I'm happy I got to play with them for my last year and to. Uh, really go out with a bang. Who's better, that team or your sophomore year with your brother? Um, I don't uh, talent wise, sophomore year I think is better. But the way we, I don't know honestly, because we as my sophomore year we played well as a team. And I feel like we should have won the state state championship that year, but I don't know something with the senior year, like that team we just clicked uh, to another level. So I, I honestly don't know. Um, you guys played George, right? In the finals? Yeah, in the state championship, yep. Um, what was that like going against Gervais, Calvin, all of them? Um, it was, it was good just because, um, it was kind of like we had a chip on our shoulder. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, we might have been like ranked number one in the state at the time, but like, those are like, you know, they, they were some of the best guards in the state at that time. You know, Definitely. Are, yeah, super talented. So, um, they had, like, talent-wise, they had, like, the upper hand on us. But um, when when it came down to it, I just felt like we played better as a team together. Yeah, you guys were so much. Y'all made them slow down. And that's mm-hmm. what – if you made them slow down, it's a wrap. Because all they want to do is zoom, 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 zoom. NASCAR, bro. Yeah, y'all. It was crazy. So y'all, y'all. What was that game like, bro? Like, what was the? I never. I've always wanted to go. I thought senior year, my senior year, that would be our my chance. But we fell short to you guys. Mm-hmm. But what was that? What's that finals game or that state championship game like? It, it's a. Uh, it was. It was electrifying. Honestly, it was a. Uh, like, I had been there before, and I've been in, like, you know, played in the Final Four and things like that. So, it wasn't really new to me, but I just knew what we needed to do to get the job done. And so, during that game, like, the first half, we're playing pretty bad. I think we're – we were down at half by, like, seven or eight, I think. And, um, yeah, we're not playing that well. But then – um like our coach came in at halftime. He was a uh, he was 
fired he up. <laughs> he, he was tight just because he knew he was like, you guys just aren't playing like how you're supposed to be playing. And right. so like he was he was fired up. And so after that, um, we turned it on. And so like it was like end of the going to the end of the third quarter, I hit a big three. I think that's what like really was that that ah, step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, no, he didn't do that. That shit was called. That shit was called. Yeah, bro. So that's, I think that's what really turned the game around for us to uh, really go in and uh, finish the game off. So y'all win that. And then you get Gatorade Player of the Year again. What was that? What was that like getting the, the award again? Like, you already got it before. And now you, I just, like, what was that like, bro? Like, you're on top. You've been on top. Like, nobody could really tell you nothing at that point. Yeah. Um, State championship. Yeah, I got, yeah, that was – that was crazy. That like, year was – that year was wild just because I, I feel like I did everything I want – like, everything I needed to do to you did. say, like, I'm, you know, one of the best players in the state, you know, mm-hmm. type Definitely. thing. So – um, it was it was a blessing. Um, many people had contributed to me getting that award, and uh, just me having success the whole season. I uh, contribute a lot of people uh, to that. Definitely, that's dope. So, <clears throat> freshman year, you averaged fourteen, three, and five. What was what was some what was your freshman year like at Penn? Um, it was at first it was up and down. Um, I get I get onto campus and um, I'm I'm doing good, um, putting the extra work in, doing things like that. But the whole time, uh, that when the season comes around, I'm thinking like, yeah, I'll just be the sixth man, and I'll just be a guy who does what he's supposed to do, come off the bench and just be a, a good point guard for the for the second team type thing. Right. And then um like two like a week or two before uh one of our like other guards got hurt and so then they uh put me uh as the point guard and so um, we opened up with Oklahoma State and um oh, wow. Yeah, that that game was crazy just because it was my first, yeah, my first college game and like playing in that like arena, it was wild. (laughs) It was wild. So, um, Um, what what was uh, what did you do? You remember how much you had that game? Yeah, I think I had yeah, I had eight points. I think and I think maybe like three or three assists or something like that. See, this is why I need another person on the show bro so i can be like yo how, when did he do this like do this <laughs> shit real quick we'll get there we'll next next yeah. next next interview will be there I feel but, you, uh, all right so freshman year was up and down mm-hmm. sophomore year you have ab- your scoring goes up assists go up you average 19 7 and 2 what what was the the leap right there and from your freshman to your sophomore year, um, we uh, we got a new coach that year. Um, that's when uh, Coach Romar um, got the job. Um, the old staff had gotten fired, and um, I, I uh, really loved the coaching staff who recruited me and uh, the coaching staff I had my freshman year. They were they were great, um, great coaches, great people. But we just weren't winning, so. Uh, you know, things had to change. And so once Coach Romar got the job, um, and if you like, if you know his pedigree, you understand that he's coached NBA player. Like, he knows, like, what an NBA player is and how to develop an NBA player. And so when I, like, knew he was coming and I got the chance to play under him, I think that's what um, why I took that leap of, like, from 14 to 19 and from 5 to 7. Um I think that's why it's because he – the ball was in my hand uh, a lot more, and he kind of let me make decisions. And he um, – that my sophomore year, he kind of let me learn from my mistakes. Um, right. I might throw a turnover. He's letting me understand, like, why did I throw that turnover and things like that. So I think that's what 
I guess, really helped me develop for that year. Uh, what do you remember most about your sophomore year? Um, I feel like sophomore year, uh, what I remember most is just um, – Any game winners, big-time games, scored a bunch of buckets. Mm. A big win. Made um, somebody fall. Yeah. Um, a big win was versus um, St. Mary's uh, at home. That was that was a big win because I think they were at the time like number two, number three in the conference, and so uh, like that that was a really big win for us. Um, that's something I, I definitely remember. But what I remember from my sophomore year was playing in the, the WTC tournament, and we went on a three game winning streak in that, and then we ended up losing to Gonzaga in the semifinals. But that like stretch of games. That was that was crazy because I we played um, Pacific first, we won by like seven, like five to seven points. That was a that was a battle. I didn't I didn't play well that game. And then next game we played uh, LMU. Uh, I hit a game winner to win that game. That and then um, we uh, played San Francisco, and then and they were supposed they're projected to beat us by like twenty or something like that. And then we ended up winning by like fifteen. And so uh, that was just a, I guess, a great way to end my sophomore year was uh, those three games. Right, going off on a nice yeah. little run. So uh, junior year, I feel like this is when you take off and become. Everyone knows who Kobe Ross is now. Mm -hmm. You average twenty, uh, seven and four. Um, you're hitting game winners, giving people 40. What was your junior year like? What like what was that leap from your sophomore year to your junior year? Because I feel like you were such a completely different player. Like you were just like so aggressive, but you were so calm. Like you'd never force anything. And then it's just like, if I got it, I'm taking it. Like no second guessing. Like it was just boom. What was that like? What was that leap for you? Um, it was it was just confidence, really. Um, like you're talking about, like I just knew in situations like if I needed to score, like when it's crunch time, I can score. I know, like um, when it's those last moments, like I can, I'm fine with taking the last shot, making or missing. Like I'm fine. I'm not worried about it. And so right. and that's what was the separator from my sophomore year to my junior year. And um, uh, we were just, we were better as a team. And so um, I think that that helped. And um, so um, I feel like that's um, like having those years, I feel like made me like, you know, like you said, and I was like, people started to know me more and mm -hmm. I started to get, you know, buzzed in the college basketball world because of, you know, those two years. So what is that like? Like, the buzz, like you said, what is, what comes with that? Like, how do you, how do you feel? Like you wake up like, dang, like, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, what is that? How do you feel when, when not all that was going on? Like you're, when you like gave them dudes 40, 43 in like, I know your phone was buzzing. Like what, what, how do you feel? Like, God, like, what is, what is your emotions, your feelings? What goes through your head? Like, what was, what was that like? Um, I'm, I'm happy at the moment. Um, like it, it's super exciting. Like, you know, people hitting you up and like, and that's cool and all. It's just like, I've, I put so much work in and like, I've done so much that people don't see where yeah. I, I expect that for myself. So like when it happens, it's just like, I, I know, I I know. Been, it's like, I, I know how hard I work. So it's nothing new for me. So I know like when it happens, I'm just like, yeah. Like, that's just what I do, I mm -hmm. think. And then at the same time, I still feel like I'm just, like, underappreciated or just overlooked all the time just because I'm not a guy who's coming down the lane. I'm not dunking on people. I'm not super right. athletic. And so you see a guy who's six one, like 180 and not athletic, and he's doing – like, I'm doing what I'm doing. 
it's just people don't people don't like that narrative. They want to see mm-hmm. the guys, um, the you know the Russell Westbrooks, the guys like John Morant is underrated just because he um, he did go to Murray State, but they want to see guys like him who are jumping over p- people, right, dunking, exactly. you know, things like that. So when they see a guy who comes from Colorado who is undersized, not athletic, and they're doing that, then they uh, it's it's a problem or they're questioning, like, why is that even happening type thing. Right, right, right. Um, do you feel like – were you ever um, nervous? Like, do you ever get, like, nervous when you're, like, at the peak of your, your game, you're killing? Like, were you nervous or you're just like – well, I just got it. Next, next job, next job, like next thing up. Where are were you? Like the second guessing yourself, like, dang man, I can't, I can't fold because this is gonna, I'm gonna look bad now because I just did this. I can't. Like, was that, did, was that ever going through your head at all? Yeah, I feel like at times last year, um, there, there was pressure. Just be, I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself at times. I feel like earlier in the season, I put time, like too much pressure on myself. Because I, I wanted to play in the NBA so bad. I'm thinking, like, oh, I got to do this to play in the NBA. I got to have a great game now. I got to shoot this shot just so they un- know that I'm good enough to play in the NBA. Like, right. I'm trying to prove myself so much, and I start playing bad or, you know, second-guessing what I'm doing. And so, like, end up last year and, like, this year is, like, there's no pressure. Um, I know how good of a player I am. I know, like, I'm supposed to play in the NBA. So, it's, like. I don't even have to even think about like doing too much or you know worrying about exactly. what other you know, people are thinking because I just know how good I am, how much work I put in. Um, did your season get cut short, or no. did you guys finish get to play? Yeah, um, we got to play. So that St. Mary's game that was um, um, we lost in the quarterfinals of the WCC WCC tournament. Um, so yeah, that was the end for us. How what was, what was uh your feelings after that? Where you, did you guys feel like y'all could have won the tournament that year? Yeah, because I feel like if we would have had a ch- chance to play Gonzaga, um, we were we were gonna get the job done just because we we lost by five um, during the year to them, and we honestly should have figured a way out to win that game, but we didn't. So. Like if we would have gotten a chance to play Gonzaga, then uh, we would have a chance to make the NCAA tournament. Okay, so COVID pops off. You come home and you start training with your brother. Yes. Those. What are those sessions like? Because I was working out with him myself because I was going to go back to school. So I know my time with him was – insane like I loved it like I just wanted to be there all the time you know he's like your brother is like a really good guy so like bro talk about you guys training uh this past summer um this past summer was was big um just because like his training like I thought really like took off like this summer and like a lot of people started to like really train with him so like with me and him, um, we tried to get as many sessions in as we could. So a lot of the sessions like with me and him were just uh, solo. We tried not to have like other people in the workouts. Right. Just, you know, just cause like, just to have that time together for him to teach me new things um, and just to learn from him. So uh, the workouts were good. They're intense. Um, there's times where me and him um like we get into it just because like we might not see eye to eye on something or (laughs) me to go you know go harder right to make more shots type thing and but like for me to get better i think that was the best thing is to train with him and to for him to like push me to that next level that i need to be pushed to so um it, it it was great um training with him this summer and then you uh, also went over to Drive, right? You're working out at Drive. Mm-hmm. Where is that at? Uh, it was Minnesota. How did you get over there? 
Um, I uh, one of my teammates lives out in Minnesota, and so um, I went to visit him, and I was able to um, train with um, some of the guys out there, and um, so got to train with um, uh, a guy who used to go to Gonzaga, who used to play there, and uh, someone who um, plays at Minnesota right now. So those um, those training sessions were good, just to compete, play one on one. And just to, um, you know, be out there a different a different setting for me to um, just to work hard. Did, how was it Minnesota? I've never been out there. Was it nice? Yeah, it was nice, bro. It was um, it was kind of like Colorado in the summer. It wasn't um, it wasn't too bad, but because um, that was kind of at the time of when they had um, like the protests and stuff like that. So it was a little time after that, but it was it was around that time. So I wasn't. Um, I was kind of just there to work out and just to um, yeah spend time with my teammate. Definitely. So you come home, you still grinding with your brother. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys go back to well, not even before that. So your name starts buzzing like top ten point guards in the nation. Well, yep. how does how does that feel? What was that like when you when you first heard found out about that? I felt good just because just talking with my coach, we even talked about this my sophomore year uh, when like the Bob Cousy award stuff would come out for like the nation's top point guard. And like, I, re- I wasn't ever on the list like my sophomore junior year. Um, like I wasn't even recognized as like a top point guard. And it really bothered me because I just thought like m- my numbers are there. Like stat- like numbers don't lie. Like if you compare me to like, half of the other point guards on that list like numbers don't lie I'm I'm better but um so to finally like see my name get more buzz and to see like you know top 10 point guard you know to see different I guess like college um analysts or like different media outlets like put me on those lists um it felt good um just to know that like what I'm like the work I'm putting in is getting um, recognized to pay off yeah exactly That's dope, man. Oh, my God. When I seen that, I was like, wow. This is – that's, like, crazy, bro, because, like, like I said, I never thought you would be all about hoop because you were so cold at football, you know? So, yeah, like, to well, see all of this going on for you, I'm just, like, it's a blessing, bro. I'm, I'm so happy for you. Like, I, I'm, I could only imagine your mom is probably just loving it, your brother, too, everyone – yeah, bro. I, I appreciate that, bro. For real. That, that's what else. Yeah, definitely, bro. So um what are your goals this year? Like what what are you looking forward to the most with the season? Oh, one thing before you, you get into that, are you guys gonna have fans? Do you know yet? Bro, that's why I don't know. Um nothing is has like nothing has been said about that. They're still trying to figure that out. It might be a thing where each player gets like one or two tickets at it okay. for a game, but like that's that's all I know for right now. I don't even know if, like what is like legit or what's not. So still trying. To is your out. schedule out? Uh, our non-conference or our conference schedule is out. Uh, we're still waiting for a non-conference. Okay, but yeah. So get into your goals, man. What are you looking forward to? Your senior year, last year at Pep. Um, what is, what are you, are you, uh, up in your scoring? What, what are you, what are you, uh, getting into this year? What are you going to, what bag is going to get deeper this year? What are we seeing? <laughs> um, honestly, I just want to win. Um, I feel like if I, this year I can win, that'll, that'll like be at the top of my list of like my accolades at, at Pepperdine is, I was I'm known for I'm known for win, being a winner. Like that's mm-hmm. what I want to be known for is being a winner. Um like I'm close to breaking the the scoring record um like and that and that's great cuz I never would have thought like being the all-time assist and then um potentially being the all-time scoring leader at Pepperdine like I never even thought like that would ever happen. Mm-hmm. So to have those uh those things uh, like be right there is just it's kind of crazy. So like stats, um, 
I'm not even too worried about stats this year. Um, I'm not even thinking about it just because um, I know what I can do. I've done it from my sophomore year and junior year, so I know, like, the stats will be there. It's just um, being a winner and just being a better leader. Um, I feel like this year I've grown so much as a leader. Um, I've taken the the steps to really uh, just be a better teammate for uh, my guys and just to be a guy they can go to if they have any questions and just help them with anything they need. So that's uh, one of the things I've focused on is just being a better leader. Um, how many seniors do you have guys have this year? Um, we have um, we have about we have four. Okay. Yeah, four seniors. And um, are they uh, starting with you too? Those four seniors? Um, no. Honestly, they're, uh, they're not. There's only going to be, um, I think, one that actually might, like, play this year. Right. So, yeah, just it'll be me and another guy. So is your guys' team kind of young or? Um, not really. We have a lot of juniors. That's that's what we do have. We have a lot of juniors. So, I mean, and then we have a couple of sophomores who are playing, a couple of freshmen. But, so it's kind of mixed, but I'd say we're more – um, on the veteran side of with um, a lot of uh, juniors and then uh, a couple seniors. Right. Um, who's your guys' biggest matchup, you think, like as a team? Uh, Gonzaga, just because they've been at the top of the WCC. So um, that's been a game that like, I've circled um, on the calendar to play. So I'm just – I'm ready to – um, play them. I'm um, ready to play BYU. Um, like I'm just ready to play the top teams because I think that's where where we're where we're at right now. We're definitely one of the top teams in the WCC, and just we have to go out and prove it. Definitely. Uh, what about your biggest matchup? Like that's guarding you, your opponent. Like who who are you looking for to play? Uh, it, it honestly doesn't matter. Um, I I honestly don't. Like, if it's a top point guard, like, I, I want to play them. Like, it, I don't care who. If it's, a, like, I just want to play the best player. So, um, it honestly doesn't matter because um, I'm, I'm up for the challenge and I know that I've done I've done the work. So, uh, I'm just ready. Oh, yeah. That's dope, bro. I can't wait. It's about to be crazy. Like, I just see all the work, like, like you said, you you put in so much work, and like I see that shit. And it's just like, I just can't wait, bro. Like I'm just like, I'm nervous. Like I'm not nervous. I'm just like, let's go. Like yeah. get my nigga the ball <laughs> so he could kill. Like come on, Fact, it's bro. crazy, bro. Like you you have so much ahead of you, bro. And I just I can't wait. Hopefully, we get on the pod again. It's we're. We're in a league where you're in the league. We're sitting somewhere poolside doing this shit. <laughs> Facts, bro. That's the goal. That's the goal. So, um, your top five artists. Who, who's your top five artists? Hmm. Top five right now? Okay. Um, I don't, I don't have a, the top five. I don't know who's number one, two, three, but like my favorite right now gotta go like okay drake is always gonna be number one like, i'm sorry drake's number hey, one <laughs> I, I gotta have drake um little baby he's been going crazy tough tough he's been, he's been tough gunna i mess with gunna heavy your brother like gunna too he loves yeah, gunna. <laughs> he, he really put me on for real um young thug thug is tough yes sir it's my guy yeah. Yeah, and then I messed with G Herbo. Yeah, Herb. Yeah, yeah. I seen you and your brother in the car going crazy. <laughs> on the I was like, these these boys crazy, man. <laughs> what about uh, your top five players, like in the league right now, like current? Top five that I like or that I think are the top five. 
No, like top five in the league. Like, who are the your best top five in the league right now? Um, LeBron, KD, Kawhi, Dame, and uh, and Steph. I was gonna say you're gonna leave your boy Dame off the list. Oh, never, never. Dame. I mean, if, I I think Dame is you know number one for sure, but you know LeBron is. LeBron the goat right now. Is Dame your favorite player? Yeah, hundred percent. I feel like I, you guys, you guys play a lot alike. Like you guys are real quick with your moves, but Dame is not like a fast player. He's quick. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. he's gonna pop, pop, pull up, boom. Like you can't. Like that's you. You can't do nothing about it. Like you just Bad. gotta. Bad. Put your hand up when the ball's out of your hand already. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Do you mimic your game after him? Yeah, I try to. Um, I just try to see um, how he gets into his moves and, like, uh, how he comes off of a pick and roll and gets his shot off. That's what I've really taken from him, especially, like, seeing what he did in the bubble is how he was just getting a shot off off of ball three. Right. Um, what is, like, your favorite – what is your go-to move? Um, or do you I, have one? Or it's just however you're getting guarded, you're just about to, it's just, that's how I'm getting to it. Yeah, honestly, it's just kind of however I'm getting guarded. It depends. Like, if they're just, like, up close, too close, it's just a move. I'm just going to get by. If they're, you know, playing off, I'm just hit the three. Uh, if I have to get into more, like, combo moves, then, you know, if they're a good defender, I'll, I'll – you know, have to get into that. So it really just depends. Definitely. Do you have any, like, uh, anybody that's, like, the best defender, like, in your league? Like, is there any, like, top defenders in, in your uh, conference? I think uh, the guys on our team, um, I think the guys I get to go versus and practice, like, there's, like, three guards who I think are, like, some of the – like toughest defenders I think I've ever gone against. And so I get to right. go first time in practice. I think that's why like in the games it comes, you know, that easy just because I'm going versus them. Uh, they make you, know, you better. Every yeah, exactly. So That's good. That's so dope. That's great to have teammates like that, man. Yeah, for real. Um, have you voted yet? Yeah, bro. Um, I have. I have. Nice. Um, have you been like encouraging other people to vote? Um, what's your stand on that? I think it, it's so important to vote. Um, that's been a big thing we were talking about here at Pepperdine, and um, that like our coach has been talking about with us is um, to vote, and we've been just talking about like all the things that can change and. Um, just things that we need to do as a country. So um, I encourage a, a lot of people to vote. Um, just, you know, you see it on social media, things like that. So it's, it's been good to see it being broadcast and more um, for people to vote. Definitely. That's a dope, man. I'm glad you voted. I need to take my ass to go vote. I'll be lazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. Got to get to it. Definitely. Yeah. Been lazy, but um, thanks for coming and on the show, man. You're the first one on here. I appreciate you. It means a lot, bro. You're my guy. You already know we go way back. We don't need to discuss that. But thank you for coming, man. Um, who would you want to see on on this show after you? Do you uh, want to get one of your teammates? Um, we could get your brother on here. Like who who whose brain you want me to pick? Who do you want me to? get some info out of <laughs> yeah i definitely want to want to see my brother on here and just see what you know he has to say about i guess what he's doing now and like how his training has been i feel like, like so, so many cool. so so many people don't know that your brother was like a real hooper like bro like he used to kill like he <laughs> dropping his uh, memories of him on his time like yo this nigga was Busting their ass, go crazy, man. go crazy. Yeah, so man, you, you got to help me get him on here. Then we'll definitely get E on here. But 
We're going to close it up. You guys, thanks for watching. Cole, thank you for coming on here, man. It means the world to me. Appreciate you, broski. Yeah, bro. I, I appreciate you having me, bro. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be able to, to talk with you and things like that. And it's just good to see you doing well, bro, for real. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, bro. Well, I wish you luck in this, this upcoming season. If you guys have fans, I'm definitely got to get to a game. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we could get a interview or something with a, a coach or something, you know, something different, you know. So it's not just you. You like have somebody like that's with you every day, like, oh, can talk about you, you know. Yep. So hopefully, we can get into that. But thank you for coming, man. Yes, sir, bro. Good luck, my guys. Yes.